सेटिंग है बिकॉज मैंने ये पढ़ा है कि यूरोप में हम तो यहाँ पे ऑलमोस्ट नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ आस आर फैमिली बिजनेस पीपल एंड मे बी तीन या चार जनरेशन तक के ये पढ़ा इतिहास में भी देश की आज़ादी के बाद ही शायद ये एनवायरमेंट तो पढ़ा है बट जैसे मिडिल यूरोप में बीस बीस पीढ़ियों तक यदि फैमिली बिजनेस चले आ रहे हैं इट इज बिकॉज दैट बोर्ड इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड इट इज नॉट जस्ट द फैमिली मेम्बर्स इट इज दैट फैमिली फ्रेंड्स और सब प्रोफेशनल ऑन द बोर्ड सो आई फील की योर बोर्ड और योर फैमिली काउंसिल वट एवर और वो बेहतर है कि वो बोर्ड रूम में बोर्ड को शेयर करना थैंक यू
learn about business. You, you, you think of that to be a natural part of uh, how people would grow, how people would go into the profession, how you choose your your, uh, your job and everything. And I, I think it's it's a very uh, nobody at our home talked about the there are CLPL kitna kind of uh, kind of kind of thing. It's a very different way of looking at work which which a which a business family has. And I think not just uh, uh, our family in Uberpa, but then also my, our family from my mother's side. Uh, they have been in family business for quite, quite longer, longer time. And my nanas and my mamas were, uh, were pretty open about, you know, using child labor like we and our cousins. Uh, so when we were there at our nana's house during summer vacations, we were actually asked to buy muscles and create muscles and do books and uh, and it's stuff, it's stuff like that. And it, no training can match that. And then I see today as, as you know, as part of a group which uh, mentors the startups and we, we look at entrepreneurs as, uh, as that. We find entrepreneurs struggling with mental precepts which, which, which I never had, which I never have to think about. Uh, I cannot really put a finger on that, but then there is a big, big difference that uh, being in a family of businessmen made uh, to how I look at work. Uh, I, I don't think that's that's a uh, that's an advantage that can be you know uh, and, you're, and you're not you're not unique in saying that. I think enough there is enough research that establishes. That people who have grown up in business families and joined the family business have uh, an advantage. As uh, somebody said, that's the best MBA you can get, and you get it at the age of 16. So, uh, time is running short, so I'll ask my last and I'll begin this time with senior leader. One of the issues with generation succession is for the older generation to let go allow the younger generation to run the business. How hard have you found letting go? Ha! Majburi na na Mahatma Gandhi. Frankly speaking, the best I could do was I got involved in some other activities. Like I went to education, started teaching the students. I got involved very actively with science club. So when I got involved with the other activities and with the other organization, I became the chairman of the Confederation of the Indian Extra Industry, became the chairman of the Export Commission Council. So practically I had more time with me. <laughs> so, when this kind of situation developed, so I thought it's a better that my both the sons, they take the side that we are kicked out from up. So, it is basically a planned basically a plan letting go. It was planned letting go and I am happy to tell you that I am really, really lucky then it went out so well that I'm proud of it. Uh well Buri Kana Mahatma Gandhi I disagree with that. <laughs> because uh, when I look at my life, I am 60 now. Uh, the best days I had was when I was a student and uh, uh, prior to getting into business. So just say okay, I think it's up so I think that is the best of the times we have. And it comes to full circle now when my son has taken over. I just have to present over the board. And there are no demands on me. So I am again free to do what I was doing 20 at the age of 20. So I am totally free. But at the same time I kept some other business vertical which just keeps me occupied because my retirement 
Kavish has something to do with it. But I am happy that my brother also used to say it always. Why are you doing so many times? Why are you doing so many times? You are working for the bank actually, not for yourself. So he was very correct enough, I have realized. So I think it's a good feeling to let it go. Thank you. Well, I hope you found that discussion interesting. What we've got is a collection of experience from the younger people, from the older people, on the real issues to do with generation succession. And there is no one set formula. No one can say this is how you do it. It is inevitable in a family business in many cases that the next generation will come in and take the business forward. So you basically got 20 to 30 years in which to plan. But when the day arrives, it comes with all sorts of issues. One of the hardest things people find is mentally their own sons or daughters. And so on. So there is no one set formula. But nevertheless, this is something which has to be done, which is good for business, which is good for the family. And careful thought in the context of first the family and then the business is needed. Nobody can prescribe, okay, I'll go to a little better thing, but it may not work for you. It depends on your family. So with that, I should thank my panelists and uh, open the panel to questions if there are any. Uh, before that, briefly, uh, Sanjay, I mean, the single family is an example to all of us. Uh, briefly, I have been the PP single family about this generation that have this problem. There was a, I just want to ask a question about this family owned business. We always see the younger generation, they want to get things done faster and they have a different vision and decision making sometimes as compared to the elder generation. And sometimes in decision making, because it is a family owned business, or sometimes it is a business, different business, money of the family, so other way also it is that. But all the persons involved, mainly in decision making, are relatives. So sometimes it is that who is right or what is right. So how it can be balanced, the emotional issues. In the previous year, it used to be Papa Nagel, it is fine. Right? No, and this year, it is just, my son says this, it is fine. Right? So the who is right, what is right, or what is the emotional background, how far does it affect, and how we can balance that? That's the question. Thank you. See, I think it comes back to capability and experience. As you induct, whether it's professionals or family members, cousins, brothers, different age groups, till everyone has to go through the basics of the business and help contribute and grow it and build upon it, prove themselves. I think these uh, differences of opinions and decision making becomes clearer over time. I think the challenge or problem happens if you give someone young, for example, joining the business too much power too quickly. Because now they do not have the right tools and skills and experience to make those decisions. And the, I think the elders have made the mistake of empowering them too quickly. So I think you created the problem. Uh, now you deal with it. So I think the best way to do it is have a more systematic approach of inducting whether it's family members or professionals into your existing business and trying to groom them over time slowly one step at a time and hope that process and systematic approach plays itself out nicely. Any other questions? Yeah, Sanjay, that's a very uh, situation that I want to know from both of you or those who are managing the business who they have blood related family. One is family which we call blood family. The other is a business family, also becomes a family like Manish would say, a bad family. You know? People associate with a bad and also family. Now sometimes when we have a blood related blood relations with our own 
and someone who has rose very good performance, her performance. And if there is a recommendation for some specific thing, and if a very experienced professional guy or girl suggests so something, while in the same board, if we have somebody who is my brother or my nephew, you know, they have a different opinion. And finally, the recognition the board accepts is by the person who is professional. How do you have managed this kind of situation whether your family, close family member, has a family or something? Because in my experience, and that we have brought, I worked with somebody and we had, I had quite a you know, problem often with some of the, my CEO's family, and, but I survived, I survived for seven years. And uh, so, how, how did you help anybody, you know, how did you handle that? See, now, I'm talking of a corporate, and particularly a listed company, because we are there. So there's no experience in the company. See, now your company law provides very clearly that you need to have independent directors. Now, if you have proper selection of independent directors, and not just them directors, then this kind of a problem is solved. And my experience is, that because in my board of directors, except me and my two sons, there is no family blood related, anyone. There is no family blood. We have other seven directors who are professionals. But it's up to you. If you want to take the right opinion, then the independent directors must be given that data. And it should evolve. The decision should evolve from the board, not rather given by the chief of the company, the managing director or the chairman of the company. And let me tell you, for the last 37 years, I have been successful and I have benefited largely. On your left hand side, Mr. Goyal is sitting. He is the director on my board. Uh, really while he is sitting here, he is a direct, direct independent director on my board. I listen to him, or my children listen to him, and then they listen. There has been never any conflict on no, I didn't think if, if I was to give you a short answer, if I was to give you a short answer, when faced in those situations, act in the interest of the business. It's always hard to do, particularly if it is raised emotional issues with the family, but act in the interest of the business. With that, I think we need to bring this session to a close. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.
not talking about awards. We talk about the number. Who is the award? Who is the award? How is the award? You know, I will ask this question to a lot of people when we ask for delegate uh, applications. Who can I apply? Say, can I buy that? Why should we apply? So it pays well. The web is not being created for the critical because most of you, if you stop your businesses, you probably have enough money, cash, time to go back to the generation of those. You're creating wealth for everyone around you. You're creating wealth for the organizations, you're creating wealth for the society, you're creating wealth for the state, and for the human kind. And, and you know, I, I wish in general society to realize the importance of businesses. And that's why it's important that we acknowledge, reward, award good performance in business as we do. You know, I asked the question, would you not award or reward your sports people? So, I a sports person to the sport person. to the sport person. Why should you reward somebody who consistently performs well? We should actually salute them and learn from them. What is the award? The award is the you can support yourselves to the best. We heard Mr. Kirloska today, uh, a family business has been running for over 125 years. But each of us, you know, we have to get our Sastapa and one of our Kirloska staff, which is known as the Kisan Kirli Kampia. We have to get the implement for that. P.P. Singhal Sahib has made a lot of agro-chemical for the people. It's a big deal. So this is made in India, the best creation of the world. And this is the award. The other thing is that your team is working with your team. We talked about the importance of team working together. It's very important for teams to A, work coercively and attain success. And second, to learn from other success. इस ग्रुप में काम कर रहा हूँ पिछले 30 सालों से मुझे एक लाइन समझ में आती है जो अगर मुझे भी पूछेंगे इस सेंगल समूह में काम करके क्या सीखा वही सीखा कि अपना शेष दो और और भी शेष की रक्षा करो ये तो बेस्ट एंड प्रोटेक्ट इंडस्ट्री ऑफ़ अदर्स डेट इस व्हाट द अवार्ड्स आर अबाउट अदर थिंग इस यू कीन तभी खुश होगा जब भी बड़ी ट्रांसफर इंडेक्स होगा। सो, I'm I'm very thankful that I was inducted into this last year. I acknowledge Bagla sir and the past residents. I was inducted. What we did this year was 